they were going to think to, to take the Naga. And they, they, do, they do take the Invoker. Dooboo, dooboo. Jukes up the Torrent, turns around on a magic missile. Now Kuo coming across, looking to actually find the first blood onto Kaka. He tries for a bit of a juke. It's not going to play off those Kuo zips forward. Takes the kill. That courier upgrade. Jesus, that thing was so close to dying. He might be dead though. And Kuo's fairly low on mana. Dooboo has got a magic missile really to save him. With the cold snap down, newbie, they'll punish Kuo there in the mid lane. So they do find the kill in return. Rising coming across, putting a bit of harassment down onto Faith. Faith's going to head up to the high ground, looking to lead in. Velo is there. And here we have it. They're spotting them out. Velo goes in. He gets the two man call. Nice gust from Fevy. But have they got the damage? They'll look to focus down Faith. Faith heading up towards the cliff. So it looks like at the least they should be able to kill the Shadow Demon. Cure coming forward. Looking for Kaka. The torrent said hold back Vila, but it's not enough. Kaka can't save his teammate. Kuo's going to continue to chase down, but in fact, oh, U9's come in. He's found Febby. Doobie's going to try for the TP out. Loose some beams there in time. Newbie, they'll clear out a second. He's going to try and go. He's looking for Kaka, and it's a beautiful cool jump straight in the burst from Kuo. They come in. The dunk down Kuo's out. The question is, can the MVP themselves get out here? Faith and U9's there. U9 coming in with the Eclipse. Oh. Kuo absolutely ripped. He tries to feel Does get the double dunk off. He's managed to find two kills here on the axe. Can he get himself out? The soul catch and the poison's on him. He tries to blink out. He goes for the TP. He's going to make it out as well. So Velo. I mean, he, oh, he wants to. He wants to. Oh! Oh, he didn't do it. He couldn't do it. Newbie get the uh, Roshan kill. SC gets the Aegis and Oh, Velo with a three back call! One's down the gush, the two, they put the Aegis KP! Caught out as well, they've lost another Unai trying to get out. He's gonna be swapped though, Dubu! Takes down Luna as well! Oh my god, MVP! Nora Crimson is really good. Poor Staff is also good. BKB, those are all really solid choices. Uh, Shiva's as well. It just depends on oh, what he values. Oh, and here we go again! He's got the call onto KP, but this time there's a torrent. A boat coming his way. The blade mail's out, though. Velo's still alive. Swap back by Dubu. And now the stun onto you. Now they've caught the Luna. The Luna's down. MVP now looking for more KP. Chains away. He can still find something. Kaka coming across. He's going to be caught out by the call. Fabian Ryzen are there to do the damage, and Kaka's down. That they were very coordinated and a great aggressive team. And here comes the Yules. And SC. Yeah, the Yules set up into the call. He's gone. I mean, Velo is the team just needs to follow him because every time he gets the perfect picks, and now here, here's the danger. You know, MVP onto your racks. They're going to be able to take them down very quickly, especially with fortifications still on cooldown for 10 seconds. A very painful 10 seconds for Newbie. The oh. burst. Oh, Faith is down. An MVP. Clear the racks. You'll have your fort back up now, but you're two men down. SC does have buyback. We'll see if he uses it here. we have got the fortification to slow them down a little bit, but MVP still sticking around. There's the buyback from Invoker. They know they're going to make something happen. Good torrent into the boat, but the swamp for Dubu. He keeps Velo alive, pays with his own life. They're actually able to kill QO as well, though. The Eclipse coming through from U9, chasing down Febby. KP, can he manage to close this gap? He's still looking for the Drearrangia. The Shakram connect. Febby's going to go down as well, and they've caught Velo by looks of it. There's only two left on MVP. Velo's going to go down. A lot of money to U9 as he ends that killing streak on the Luna, getting the 543 gold from Axe. They can find a second set of racks. They're absolutely huge at this stage of the game, getting the vision. Dubu not wanting to commit a swap for that one. It's KP clearing it out. And try for a gust. Look at the stun. Velo jumps in. He managed to get the call on SC, but this time, there we have it again. The Eclipse coming out. Velo's in a oh lot of God. trouble trying to back out, but he gets ripped to pieces. Bebby and Dubu have to back off. And on the side, Kuo, he's tried to go in. He's tried to play around this, but he may pay with his life. The cold snaps down. The tower punching into him. U9 takes another double kill for the Luna. And it may not be over just yet. You can see KP wrapping around the back. Chakram, the dev onto two. They're in a lot of trouble. The magic missile comes out. Have they got the damage to bring down KP? No. Yule's up. He's going to lift the bow. Coming through. It's going to crash onto Ryzen. He pops out the nuke. He's tried for the TP out, but the Yule's is there to cancel it. They're going to be losing a fourth on MVP as newbie make the defense happen the tower goes down but the wrecks stay intact and mvp are just throwing too much cave around their invoker you catch one target and he just gets instantly disrupted you just can't initiate like that like they're, they're getting overzealous again it's the same story as game number one you know when they had the chance to win with the Aegis and Kuro just blinks past the tower literally the same thing Ooh, Velo jumps in same time U9 has just put the Mantis down some more illusions more death the dunks there but now the combo comes out the swap from Dubu keeping Velo alive for the time being Kuo moving forward trying to chase down Kaka 
Could do with this. Nine coming out with the BKB on his second line after the Aegis is popped. Duo is kind of caught at the moment between five of them. Can Nubi actually take him down? He strikes himself away. The nukes there. They found the ST. There's going to be the X marks bringing QA back. Kako incredibly low, but he's toggling this one around. He can't toggle the urn. Finally takes him down. They've lost two this time, but they get the kill onto QA in return. So two for one at the moment. KP looking to move in for more. Febby with a Hurricane Pike shoves the Timber Sword back out. And KP just has to chain himself away. Still deep though. SC. See if he can find something. Dubu jukes out the. Tornado, can they finish this off? The, the Visage, some familiars are coming through an SC. I don't know if he can play his way out of this one. He can't. Velo's there with the call. And this time, Newbie, they lose the Aegis. They lose three heroes. They only get the QO kill. Unai and KP still hanging around. Unai does have Eclipse. BKB back off cooldown in 15 seconds, but he'll be fighting into four of them. So indeed, Newbie back off to jump himself out to the illusion. Now trying to get some kind of a latch onto him. The Link's been popped and now the Xbox had to follow up. The jumps in onto U9, but the BKB's pop. They're looking to turn it around. Velo uses himself up, but Nubi surrounds it. They've already killed Kyo. They'll kill the Axe as well. And the two of them getting far too cocky there. Velo and Kyo, you know, felt that they could rely on the, the chance to get out, but they, you know, Nubi popped the Lincolns. They get the X marks down onto the Morphling, and suddenly there's no escape and a whole lot of pain. I think something happened there to, to Q. I didn't quite see what it was, but he did an adaptive strike after using the E-Blade. So instead of killing U9, he just lived, and then he got x back and ended up dying there. I, I'm not quite sure what happened to him, but something must have stopped it. And bottom lane, too. Yep, Dubu. Fine with Kaka. I mean, Dubu's just been left alone. The rest of his team are out of there. In fact, the rest of his team could be dead as well. KP and SC coming in onto Febby. Febby, he tries to run, but he can't hide as Nubi follow up those two kills on the top lane with two kills quickly down on the bottom. This is getting really out of hand. They're, the MVP have given away more or less three team wipes consecutively. That is way too much to a team with a Luna and a Shadow Demon. You know, we were talking about during the draft how this lineup can come online at any stage in the game just because of how Disruption Luna works when you have Manta style and you have, you know, Butterfly, Manta, BKB, all those other items. U9 is going to get to a stage where you're not really just going to be able to burst him down anymore, and he's going to be sieging your base with illusions. Being one racks up against that kind of lineup doesn't matter at all, especially post like 35 40 minutes. Trying to pop down U9 here, but indeed, as you said, you may be down a Rax, but you can very quickly take the Rax back from the opponent. Vila jumps in, gets the call onto two. Didn't catch off Faith So we'll see what Faith's play is. Doesn't need to do anything at the moment. The BKB just comes out from U9. Kua has to jump himself out. Dubu with the swap to save his teammate. Pace with his life. Nubi already moving in for more. Shiva's guard from KP. As he goes in deep, the Shiva's damage takes down Velo on the act. Febby tries to shove him back with the Hurricane Pike. KP with that hood up. He can just waltz it off. Back up. The buyback's going to come out from SC, realizing this is the chance that Nubi needs to really hit hard against MVP. There's no buyback available on the two members down on the side of MVP. And Newbie will almost certainly, well, at least have a good chance of getting a second Rax. There is a fortification available. Oh, if three heroes alive, can they actually stop this? They're going for the nukes onto KP, but it's just not enough damage to bring down this Timber Saw as MVP forced back to their fountain. The fortification comes out. Newbie just fight after it. Take a second set of Rax. And now with the X mark, Torrent Com on to rise. There'll be a buyback from Velo. He needs something huge. He needs something big. But with the Eclipse down, he just can't find the opening to jump in. As Newbie back out, Velo gets the TP cancel onto KP. Cool. They're onto Kaka. The blade mails out. Dubu swats back They're KP back on the timber sword. Kaka falling low. Kaka's down. Magic missile onto KP. They should be able to find the timber as well, and they do. They There's a buyback immediately from both of them. Because in the meanwhile, in the base, QO and Ryzen, they're trying to go for a base race here. Velo's jumped in as well. But it, they can't finish it off by the looks of it. As Newbie come in, and they will stop MVP's attempts to go for that base race. KP killing them off. Velo, Demonic purged up. He'll use himself for the time being, but Newbie's there to finish him off. Still, the, the, the familiar's yeah, doing his... Yeah. What? Can they... Wait, oh, they need a ranged hero down there. He can't, he can't. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that was funny. Oh, man. I mean, that I, was a really nice attempt there. It was a really game. nice attempt. And they managed to equalize the Rax loss. So they got the mid melee yeah. Rax, they killed the tier fours. And now Newbie, you know, they don't have buyback on SC, so they managed to kill that Invoker one time. They're gonna be down one hero. Oh boy. They have buybacks on both QO uh, and Ryzen. I think they're gonna be forced to use it though, unfortunately. 
Uh, let's see. MVP don't have Glyph, but they do have Tier 4. So maybe, yeah, maybe they do have enough time. I don't know if Nubi is going to take the safe route and just kill the Tier 2 top first. If they do, that's probably better for MVP, honestly, because they, they want their Axe to be alive here. How do they do this? I mean, the line's been drawn. Right, yeah, they're just going to go down mid. They know there's no Glyph, so they should be able to deal quite a bit of damage to buildings here. But this is scary. You know, you mess up once, it could just be right down mid and, you know, counter throw. I need something there, you need that axe. 10 seconds, of is back. You onto Gaka, not quite enough to burst him down. Six seconds. Oh my god, the glaive! And axe is there, but look at this damage. Onto the ancient BKB from Unan. He's not messing around, he's pounding, but Velo! Oh, he gets the call! Maybe they could do this, they've got the control onto the Luna. QO falling low, those stars to shift over to straight buybacks there, but it's all over for MVP. They tried their best. They looked to go for that rat, that split push attempt. It wasn't quite quick enough. And newbie are able to secure themselves the series 2-0.